Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to order glasses online. So I'm going to try out ordering these glasses online and I'm going to try Zilu. Now I've done quite a bit of research and you get mixed reviews on it, but I'm going to give it a shot and see how it goes. So the site is Z-E-E-L-O-O-L.com. And you just go on their site. They have the frames here. You pick which one you want. You enter in your prescription. So you do have to go to an eye doctor and get your prescription if you don't already have a current one. And then you punch in all of that information and you order the glasses. So I'm just looking here, going through the list to see which frame I want to try. And as you can see, the prices of the frames are considerably cheaper. So I just left the eye doctor and the cheapest frame that they had was $99. And here you can see they have them as cheap as $10. I don't know anything about the quality of the frames. Like I said, there are mixed reviews online about this particular company. Um, but for the price of the frames, I think it's worth it to give it a shot, even though I know my lenses are probably going to drive that cost up considerably, but we'll see. Let's kind of go through the process and they have something for everybody. Look at these cat eyes with the bees on them. That's really fancy. Ooh, real cat eyes here. So let me just kind of go through and see what I like. Now on here, you can see that they have um, 37 plus pages of frames. So I am pretty sure that um, there is something for everyone. I'm just not seeing anything that's catching my eye right away. Now this looks absolutely crazy, but it gives you the option to try on the glasses and it says just for style reference, not for size. So obviously this picture of myself and these huge glasses show up on here. So that doesn't help me out at all. Although I do like the frame, but you know, this, this feature here, I'm not sure how, um, you know, maybe I could have taken a better picture, but I'm not going to even fool with that. But these frames here, I kind of like in that. So let me put a star on those and I'll keep looking. Okay, so I've selected a frame. I love the color. It is a cat eye. I know that's kind of the style I stick with, but the price is $7 too, so that makes it even better. But I actually genuinely like the style of the glasses. So I'm seeing here that it's also given $5 off the first order. So I'm gonna put that on there. So that got added to my shopping cart. Um, so now let me select my lenses. And I have a progressive lens. That means that I have multi vision in my um, glasses. So I selected pro uh, progressive. You can get the single lens, progressive, reading glasses, or non-prescription. So mine are definitely prescription. So then you put in your PD, which is your pupillary distance. My pupillary distance is 64. Now, when you go get your eyes examined, they give you your prescription. They don't necessarily give you your pupillary distance. So you have to ask them for that, which is gonna be a red flag for them that you're gonna order online or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Um, Huh. Okay, so he did tell me that mine was 32 and 32.5. So I'm just going to put that in because I did ask the question when I was there. Also, they give you the option that if you don't have your pupillary distance, you can measure it. So it says how to measure. And so you download this ruler. That's what you have to do if you don't have it. And the pupillary distance is typically between 54 and 78. So anyway, that's where I am. And then you put in your prescription. Now, all of this information should be written on the prescription. Mine is, I don't care if you see my prescription, it is what it is. So let me see. 
Oh, I can't do that and hold it. So let me come back on once I have it in there. Okay, so I've entered in my prescription exactly the way it reads on the paper that the doctor gave me. So it's plus one on the right, negative 75 for the cylinder axis. And then the left is slightly different with my axis. And then the add, so this is the multi-vision piece of it. I have a plus 2.25. Now, with my prescription, I could go get readers at the plus 2.25, but I do have a slight correction in the distance, so it does me better to have the multi-vision uh, lens, although I don't wear my glasses all the time, but I have to wear them all the time for the reading. I need that plus 2.25 magnification. Uh, oops, don't let me change that. And then I do not have prism. That is something that you would know um, based on your prescription. Then you go in and you put in your birth year, save your prescription, and then submit the prescription subscription. Okay, so I put in a prescription and then it brings me here to select the quality of the lenses. And there is one that is $39, one is $65. 109, 135, and 179. And it's telling you what the difference is. However, I don't really know what that means. The 1.57 digital freeform progressive, they're all no line um, bifocals basically. So it is recommended to go with this one, the $65 one. Ah, I see here now, it's it's because of the, the th thickness of the lens. So, Mine is recommended for this one. I do not want thick lenses because I don't want them to be heavy. And with that plus 2.25 magnification, I'm going to go ahead with the rec recommended here. And then we're going to go to the next screen. I didn't really see anything that was conclusive. So I'm going to go ahead with what 48% ordered. Yeah, just going to keep it simple. Add that on there. Add to cart. Do I want 50% off a second frame? I do not. Because I don't know if um, these are going to work out. So I want to go with the bare minimum. I love the frame. My total with my discount, because it's the first time getting them, it looks like it is going to be $81. Now, they've not said anything yet about shipping and handling. So, huh, they're just going to the pay screen. So maybe there's no shipping. Hmm. Ah, it says eligible for free standard shipping. So that's a good thing. So it's $81 basically. So far the price is at $81. It is recommended the anti-reflective. I am on the computer a lot. So that it seems to be a wise choice. It is $9 for that. So now the order's been placed and it takes about a month and a couple days before I actually receive the order. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It came packaged up in a box like this. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up and take a look. So it looks like that's an extra cleaning cloth in here. And then it comes with this soft case. I kind of like the hard cases better because I feel like they protect your glasses a little bit better. But this, this has a little bit of firmness to it, so it might be okay. And these are the frames that I selected. 
and um, just feeling them. They have a little bit of weight on them. They feel, you know, pretty good. Not real lightweight, pretty sturdy. Um, they don't have the springed hinges. I would have liked that, but um, I couldn't find a pair that I wanted that had those. So those were available, but I did not see them. But that's what they look like. Kind of a, kind of looks like a tortoise color here. So I'm going to try them on now. All right, so here they are. I am really liking the frames. They're very different for what I would choose. I kind of like the, the cat eye effect, but I typically don't go for one that's quite as dramatic and the thicker rims on here, but I do like them. And for the value, um, I'm very pleased. Now, one thing that um, I've noticed is that so I have a multi-vision, so my um, reading prescription is on the bottom. It's a little bit stronger than the top part. I almost have very little prescription on the top part. So distance-wise, I see extremely well. I really need my glasses for reading up close. But what I notice is that sometimes you have to kind of turn your head a little bit or you do a little bit more adjusting to find where the prescription is for the reading, if that makes any sense. And I will say that that could be because they need a little bit of an adjustment. So they're moving around a little bit. Um, I, you know, they don't have very much bend in the temples at all, but they just kind of feel like they slide a lot when I um, put my head down and things like that. So that very well could be the reason that I'm searching around for where the reading portion of the prescription is. Um, so I'll have to take them somewhere and see if I can get someone to um, adjust them for me. And that's a challenge in and of itself because some places don't want to do any adjustments on your glasses if you didn't purchase them from them. So I'll see if I can find a place to do that. Other than that, I think they're really good. Um, so I'm happy with them. Now they took about one month and two days to come. However, I was contacted by the company and they mentioned that because of the coronavirus, because they're coming from China, um, because of the coronavirus, there would be some delays in shipment. So I really don't have a baseline to be able to say without that, they would have taken two weeks or three weeks. I don't know. They took about, um, just a little over a month, which, you know, it's not too terribly bad. Now, I did order another pair of glasses from the place that I got my eyes examined here, and I ordered those on the same day, um, and they came back within like three or four days, of course, because they have the labs right here, and I've done the comparison on them, so these are the glasses. I basically picked the least expensive frame um, that they had because I knew that... Um, you know, I really just need my glasses for reading for the most part. And I do like to have two pair because it's critical that I have to have them for reading. I absolutely cannot read them, uh, read without them. I like to have a pair for my purse so that I have those when I go out and then a pair for home. Because what I found is that when I try to use that same pair and remember to put them back in my purse before I leave the home, nine times out of 10, I'm going to get where I'm going and not have my glasses. So it's imperative for me to have that double pair of glasses just because when I get out somewhere, um, if I don't have them, I cannot see anything that I have to read. So I did a comparison on the ones that I got from the, um, the eyeglass place directly here locally and with these. And like I said, if I adjusted my head around the right way, there was very, very little difference in the, the vision. And, and particularly the, the distance, I don't see any difference. Maybe slight, ever so slight in the, the up close, the, the near vision or the reading vision. But not enough to say this is a, you know, a big difference, a significant difference. So difference in the price. So these were $85. That includes a multi-lens or bifocal, if you will, with the invisible line. I do not do any type of tint or anything like that, but I do the anti-glare because I spend a lot of time on my computer. So $85 total. That includes the frame. I believe the frame was either $12 or $15. There's clips before this that will say exactly what that were, but that's what they, this pair was total, $85. 
this pair was $400. So, and that was on the cheaper end because this frame was, um, you know, relatively inexpensive. So the dollars are in the eyeglasses, the, the lenses themselves. That's where the money is. So the lenses over here were probably 60 something dollars if you, you know, take away the, the amount for the frame. Um, and I would say it's definitely worth it. I, I would do it again at this point. Now I'm going to wear these a little bit more and just make sure, um, you know, that there's no issue with like distortion or anything like that, but I have not noticed it at all at this point. I've worn them, um, maybe about 30 minutes or something like that, just to, to see if I see anything. And so far, so good. So Zilul or however you pronounce your name, thumbs up so far. I think it's, um, an absolute good alternative to uh, getting your prescription eyeglass needs met. And in particular, if you have single vision, I, it's a no-brainer. I would do it with, without a heartbeat. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you were wondering about ordering glasses online or um, taking that chance to do that, it is, you know, a process that, um, you know, takes a little bit longer. However, I think it is worth it in the end. That's my initial impressions. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel, it is a lifestyle channel. So I do talk about things like this. I do a lot of house, home decor, house cleaning, uh, a little bit of DIYs. I dabble in that a little bit and um, just lifestyle uh, topics in general. So if that's something that you're interested in, please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave here today and the notification bell so that you're notified each and every time that I upload a video. And if you are a returning guest, thank you so very much for coming back. And I appreciate your support. And I'll see you back here next time. Bye now.